Yo, what's up everybody? I've got some more Peko V Union boxes and some Lucario V Star boxes. These things just came out and I'm gonna be opening them in today's video. Let's get cracking. What are we thinking first? Is it gonna be more Peko V Union first? Or is it gonna be Lucario V Star first? I'm kinda of feeling I'm feeling more Peko. Serve up a big buffet of attacks with more Peko V Union. And what I'm really excited about is that after I'm done opening these boxes, I'm actually going to queue up the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online and see about building some decks. If you haven't checked out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Tricky Jim, you're missing out. Definitely make sure to head on over there, drop me a follow. We're almost at 30,000 followers on Twitch, so thank you to everybody who has checked out the Twitch channel and everybody that's watching live right now at uh, the time of recording this. Let's uh, let's get into it. We're gonna be sleeving our hits in my favorite Dragon Shield perfect fit sleeves, of course, of course. Huge thank you to Dragon Shield for providing the sleeves for this tabletop opening. Ta-da! Here we go, more Peko V Union. We've got our nice, oh, well, yep, yeah, okay, there it is. More Peko V Union, ooh, and it comes with a free Professor Burnett. I guess it's not free, right? Because you buy the box. But anyways, here's a Professor Burnett. Yep. Allows you to discard two cards from your deck. Helps you to get that more Peko into the discard pile. And look look at him go. Look at that smiley fella. He's ready to do some damage. All right. The all-you-can-eat attack. Draw cards until you have 10 cards in your hand. That's kind of crazy. Electric Ball. 100 60 damage. What else do you do? Union gain. Attach up to two lightning energy from your discard pond of this Pokemon. And then finally, burst wheel. For lightning and two colorless, 100 damage. And you uh, discard all energy from this Pokemon. It does 100 damage for each card you discarded in this way. That's crazy. And how much HP? 310 hit points. Retreat cost of two. Honestly, V Union Pokemon are kind of chaotic. It's, it's, they just exude some serious chaos energy. You have to get like all four of these things into the discard pile in order to uh, summon it into play, right? And you can't play more than one of each piece since each piece is technically a Morpeko V Union piece. It's, it's wild. We haven't seen a single V Union card see any sort of success in the Pokemon TCG. Oh, I guess this would have been an easier way to show off what more Peko V Union does, wouldn't it? Instead of me just... Anyways. Here's more Peko V Union in its complete form, which does look kind of hilarious on tabletop if you've, uh, if you've ever seen a V Union summoned on tabletop before. I don't know. Any of you guys ever been to, like, uh, you ever... Have any of you, let me know in the chat, if you're watching or if you're on YouTube, let me know in the comments. Have you ever, ever, like, actually summoned a V Union Pokemon into play in paper? It hits different in paper, okay? It's different. It's not the same. I mean, obviously, summoning a V Union on the Pokemon trading card game online is one thing, but a Haxorus? Okay, it's our rare card. Very cool. But have you ever summoned a... Uh, a V Union. I feel weird saying summoning. I know we're talking about like uh, Pokemon. You don't summon Pokemon, but I feel like you definitely summon V Union Pokemon, right? That's like more of a, that's more of like a, a Magic or a Yu-Gi-Oh thing. You don't summon Pokemon, but I do feel like you summon a V Union. What what kind of word would you use? Yo, Vaporeon. Okay. What word would you use to describe? Yo, Charizard V-Star, let's go. Where's my perfect fits? Charizard V-Star, 280 hit points. It's got the Star Blaze V-Star power, 320 damage. Pretty poggers. We'll put that Vaporeon in a, uh, in a sleeve as well. Nice 
Full Arts Vaporeon featuring Blue, Charizard V-Star. Very cool. And then, uh, you know, like a few, a few other cards. Sick. Couple packs of Fusion Strike. Let's see, you think we can get uh, just an Alt Art Mu V Max? No sweat, right? Easy. Easy dubs, for sure. Alt Art Mu V Max? No? Oracorio? Close. <laughs> Power Tablet? Darmanitan? Sick. And then. Electrode. Trevenant. Adventures Discovery. Sweet. All right, so we got a Charizard V-Star out of our first Morpeko V Union box. Now, we'll see if we can't find something equally cool from our second one. Yeah, what's better than one Morpeko V Union? How about two? Cool. There he is. More Peko V Union. And the Burnett. I don't know why I was like, oh, and the reveal. It's Burnett. Yeah. Okay, cool. Jumbo card. Anybody in the chat collect jumbo cards? I know they make like jumbo binders and jumbo sleeves. Anybody hang on to those? They're pretty neat, honestly. They really show off the artwork, uh, you know, really well. Staraptor, I right. cleansing gloves, float soul. Luxray, Magmortar, Acerola's Premonition. Looking for that Alt Art Mu V Max. Come on, baby. Arcanine, Araquanid, close. Garbodor, Pookie Muku. And our last pack from the Morpeko V Union is a Corviknights. Very cool. Dub wool. Spongy gloves. All right, that's it for the Morpeko V Union boxes. We've got one Charizard V Star to show for it, and, you know, our pile of Morpekos. Now it's real game time, chat. Our Lucario V-Star boxes. This is what I'm most excited about for sure. Lucario V-Star seems like a pretty dope Pokemon. It's got the fighting knuckle attack for a fighting and two colorless energy. Does 120 damage. Plus, if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon V, it does 120 more damage. So potentially 240 damage to opposing Pokemon V. Kind of reminds me uh, a little bit of what, Victini V Max, except Lucario V Star, you know, only gives up two prizes. Does cost more energy, but it is fighting type. And fighting type is a very good type to be in the Pokemon TCG right now. Cool, plastic, plastic. There he is, Lucario V-Star, 270 hit points. The Aura Star attack does 70 damage for each energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. So if your opponent has five energy in play, you're going to be doing 350 damage for just two energy. Pretty insane. That's neat. And then I am curious as to like, all right, so we get the full arts and we've got yeah, the Lucario V-Star and then, like, the full arts. Where's the regular arts? Is that going to be released, like, in a set or something? Curious. Curious indeed. And then we've got our packs. We've got our V-Star marker. Beautiful. I guess I should probably sleeve up all of the more Pecos. Huh? All right, fine, more Peco. You guys can... You guys can live in Dragon Shield Perfect Fit sleeves as well. We'll sleeve them all up. There's a nice... Oh. Oh, not that. There's a nice pin. Check that out. Any pin collectors in the chat to get a nice... Okay. Nice Lucario enamel pin. That is pretty slick. 
Not going to lie. That's a pretty nice pin. For sure. Lucario with his fighting pose. Fighting stance. That's pretty dope. All, right, all these fellas are getting in the... Uh, get sleeved up, more Petko. And then we've got three Lucario V-Stars to open. Now I'm interested as to like what's going to be the best way to play Lucario V-Star. Obviously, when the gritty pickaxe item comes out, it's going to be easier to accelerate fighting energy into play. But maybe there's a way to get this Lucario V-Star <clears throat> to work right now. Perhaps. Cool. All right, let's get cracking. Brilliant stars. And it's a rainbow rare Cynthia's Ambition. Okay, let's go. Scope that out. How about that for a first pack out of Lucario V-Star box? That's pretty hype. Ultra Ball, yeah. Rainbow rare Cynthia's Ambition. Uh, pretty decent. <laughs> let's go. Add that to the hits. I feel like we're already doing better than we did in the more Pekka boxes. Up next, we got Levani, Morgram, Quick Ball. Rapid Strike Cloister, Caparaja, Semipor. Look at Simipore. Simipore is cool. Love Simipore. I think I've done a complete 180 on the uh, on the Unova monkeys. I'm now a huge Unova monkey stan. I used to be a yo. Scope that out. Single strike Urshifu V Max Alt Arts. That's pretty hype. That is. Pretty hype indeed. Wow. Look at how beautiful that card is. Now, I've done a complete 180 on the Unova Monkeys. I used to think that the Unova Monkeys were goofy, but now I see that I was just immature. And now I, I see the Unova Monkeys for what they really are. Awesome Pokemon. Crossover, Vicavolt, Battle VIP Pass. And a Zangus. A Rapid Strike Drizzle. <laughs> a Rapid Strike Drizzle. Next box coming right up. If you know, you know. Another Lucario. You know what's crazy? Is the size of these coins. Nobody's flipping this, okay? I already know, listen, we don't really do a lot of coin flipping, but this, this has like the same circumference as a can of pop, okay? Like this is, this is large. It is, Nearing on like frisbee size. And what's crazy is that in Japan, in Japan, like the coins have gotten smaller. Um actually, they are they are like tiny. They must not have laws about children like swallowing things in Japan that they do here. Maybe there's just like maybe <laughs> yeah, maybe there's just or maybe the kids are just smarter and know not to put stuff in their mouths. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that that's the reason I would like, I'm guessing that's just a total, total, like totally a guess, right? But uh, I have to imagine that it's just so kids won't like, uh, you know, so kids won't swallow them, right? But in Japan, the coins are getting smaller. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Anyways, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, just natural selection, honestly. Yeah, shouldn't shouldn't just shouldn't put the Pokemon coin in your mouth, kids. Zamazenta V. Cool. There's Zamazenta V. It's got that regal stance ability, which allows you to discard your hand and draw what? Like five cards? Pretty good. But I, I just like I'm imagining the production decision. Like all the coins used to be the same size. And then Japan started making coins smaller. And we started making coins uh, the size of spacecrafts. Speaking of space, any guys ever just like really just contemplate how big space is? Y'all ever just think about that? You know, we're just sitting here. Hanging out at our desks, maybe, you know, on our cell phones, watching a stream, just like touching some cardboard, and then you ever just like think about space, bro? Space is big. Just saying. <laughs> it's like real big, bro. <laughs> like inconceivably big. It's so big that you cannot even start to comprehend how big it is, right? Yeah, it's uh it's quite large, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's quite 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 large. <laughs> Last box. Box two, we had the Zamazenta in it. All right, box one had the Cynthia's Ambition and the Single Strike Urshifu in it. That was pretty good. Last box. We've got our Lucarios, of course. There you go. You got your Frisbee coin. Excellent. You've got your Jumbo card, your Enamel pin, your V-Star marker, and... Your packs. Excellent. Let's get cracking. Infernape, I, Weavile, Fracture, Cafe, Fella, Palo Sand. Nice fella. Darmanitan, Slagoo. Electrode. Elisa Sparkle. I've just, now that I've thought about it, after we did our gym leader, our gym leader type review on stream the other day, why is Elisa in a, a fusion type supporter? When, like, the best fusion-type Pokemon is, is Mew, which is a psychic Pokemon. Like, Elisa's lightning. Why is... Why is Elisa... I don't get it. I don't get it. Dragapult. Quick Ball. One pack remains. One pack of Chili Rain. And it's a Pissimian. There we go. All right. That's it for the pack opening. We've got some Lucario V-Stars. We've got some more Peko V unions, and we're gonna be building some decks using these bad boys on the Pokemon trading card game online. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like the video and uh, check me out on Twitch where I'm streaming. Right meow. Y'all have a busted day. See ya.